Hello YouTubers! Today I picked up this kit surprisingly at a thrift store. It's it up on Amazon it seems to have pretty good reviews, which is uncommon for crystal growing kits. But being a crystal nut as I am, loving amethysts, etc, etc, et I couldn't resist picking it up and giving it a try. This is a National Geographic STEM kit. I grow amazing crystals at home. It's actually got a good bit of weight to it. That's what it's supposed to look like. We will see. It comes with purple growing powder, a seed rock, magnifying glass, stir stick, display stand, and learning guide. And a kitty's not included, by the way, guys. You're going to have to buy your own cats. <laughs> Somebody's interested in what his mama is doing. Yes. All right, everyone. Once our kitty assistant gets bored, we're going to go ahead and open this up. All right, I'm back with my boiling water, a bowl, and a spoon. I'm not too worried about my table here. As you can see, it's nice and weathered anyway. I have one cup of boiling hot water. It says to pour it, pour it into the bowl there. Without delay, pour a small amount of crystal glowing powder into the hot water and stir it with the stick until it dissolves. I can do that. Little tip here for all you newbies to crits. It helps to just cut the little tip there. And that way you have more control about what comes out. It specifically says the stick. And we keep adding more powder and more stirring. We keep doing that until there's no powder left in the bowl. So we're just going to continue doing as it says and adding more powder slowly and letting it dissolve. Try to avoid the temptation just to dump it all in there at once. But we got some chunky crystals in there. Alright, once you're through with your witch's brew, make sure to remove any unwanted cat hair that might have fallen down into there. There it be. For my glass going container, I just have this little plant thing I got from the Dollar Tree. I just rinsed and rinsed it out. And you're going to pour this into there like so. It says not to pour undissolved powder in there. Alright everyone, it's exactly 15 minutes later, so what you're going to want to do 
is take your little seed rock thing and open it up. You're gonna wanna put it down in here flat wise. So, try to make sure it's in there correctly, though it is hard to see. Yep, mine's in there flat. All right, and one thing you can do is cover it up for the first 24 hours. The instructions say that it's supposed to give you larger crystals. I don't have any aluminum foil on hand, but I'm gonna try this. And be sure to put this somewhere if you have fur babies or little tiny kids where they can't mess with it or anything, because it does need to sit quite a few days. Seven to 10 days, so you're definitely gonna need to be patient. All right, this is after about 10 slash 11 days, 11 days exactly. Pretty cool how it's encrusted all outside of the glass. I guess that's from sweating. And then there's the manuals because it's stuck to the glass and done this. You can see it's very fragile. All right, here's the crystals. Pretty cool. I like that it actually does have a purple change to it. I kind of worried that that wouldn't show through. Looks like a little mini bomb down in there. The crystals definitely have pretty uniform shape in there. Let's see if we can pop these out. See how fragile it is? And there's the original seed rock. As expected from this kit, it definitely did grow a crystal, just not the one shown on the box. I definitely recommend if you want a beautiful crystal like that just to go on eBay. However, if you just want a fun little kit like this, especially to do with your kids or friends, this is definitely a fun little pickup. Alright everyone, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks for watching and bye ya. Aren't they good, boo? Oh, you did your wishes. Look at you, you got jerky. Sheba makes those, by the way, and they're their absolute favorite. The only thing better is real, freshly cooked meat. <laughs> Isn't that right, sweet on?